Hey folks, it's Grant Estrant over here at Local Cooling Farms. We're going to be doing a multi-day, uh, multi-week, uh, non-scientific uh, observational experiment with some uh, coffee products. Our friends over at Podpack have sent us uh, some things to play with. Um, some of you guys may be familiar with these uh, K-Cups, these uh, Karug um, compatible coffee maker single uh, serve pot pots pods well these are uh fully compostable uh so we've got the hard uh version that we're going to be playing with these are unused uh and then we've got also got the um the soft pod version that we're going to be playing with so we've got that pod itself and then the plastic or not the plastic but the compostable uh liner that it uh that it comes with uh so they sent me some new ones just to make sure i knew what they were uh, like brand new uh, and then they also send me a little bag of um, used ones that they had brewed at their facility. Uh, and so the coffee's still in there. Everything's nice and still intact. Um, and then this is what the soft pod looks like. And then the liner. Uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to put uh, the hard K cups and the soft pods each in their own worm bin. Um, and then we're going to uh, kind of cover them up with the bedding that we normally feed the worms. And so we're just going to do our normal protocol, but we're going to add in um, uh, the K-cups and the soft pods and two different ones. And we're just going to see what the response is by the worms. And then we're going to let the worms kind of talk to us and see how they feel about these compostable products. All right, so this is the bedding that we're gonna be using for the uh, the K-cup and the soft pod uh, experiment. Uh, we don't wanna give them just the K-cups and the soft pods by themselves in the vacuum because that's not how you're, you know, a person would be composting at home in the backyard. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna drink their coffee, they're gonna pull their pods, they're gonna throw them in a compost pile, and then they're gonna throw all the other stuff that they're composting that day or that week. And so the K-cups and the soft pods are gonna get mixed with other things. And so uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna prep this worm bedding um, because this is our normal protocol uh, for feeding uh, the red wigglers. So we're just gonna do a real quick rough mix. We're mixing in this, uh, the crab compost, which is pine fines and, um, and the crab shell that's composted, that material's uh, over a year old. So we're just gonna do a nice, quick, rough mix for this, um, for this material. And like I said, this is our normal protocol. This is what we normally feed the worms. Um, and so they're used to the pH and they're used to all the other variables uh, of this particular mix. All right, so here we are at um, the two worm bins that we're gonna be using. Um, we've got very healthy red wigglers in here, as you can see. We actually fed them last week, uh, so they are um, uh, in a eating, reproducing mode. Um, so we got the worms in here. Just check and make sure that we got some healthy worms in there. Good, we're good to go. Um, and I'm gonna use this plastic grid just so we can um, know where the k cup material and all that stuff is so we're going to put that down the worms are easily going to be able to go through that material and then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of our bedding that we just mixed and we're going to put down a fresh layer of the material and the reason i'm doing that is because I want to create um, a channel for the worms to easily go through this uh, and kind of bring them up to this area as well. And that's gonna help kind of just concentrate them. So this is something that we're doing first to speed along the worms getting to the uh, the K-cups in, uh, in this particular trial. So now for the next step, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the soft pods and then we're gonna put them down on top of that little bit of material that we just put down. And so I want to be fair with the, you know, the, the little trial that we're doing. So we're going to make sure that we we kind of mix these up just a little bit. I don't want like all pods together.
Okay, maybe that's a pretty good arrangement, how somebody would naturally, um, as they brew their coffee, and then they collect them in, in their kitchen, and they go out to the backyard and throw them in there. That might look like something like that might actually happen. Um, and then we got the K-Cups. Of course, these are just, it's just one piece. It's not two pieces. Uh, so we're probably just going to go ahead and arrange them um, in different patterns and see how they fare. I'm sure a lot of them will put some upside down and whatever, you know, how they're going to fall once you kind of throw them in there. So we're going to kind of keep them at uh, the center there and then keep these at the center. Then we're going to come back and then we're going to sprinkle the this bedding. Now this bedding is extremely biologically active. And so as soon as I'm putting this material on top, they're going to start, the microbes in it are going to start attacking um, the soft pods, you know, pretty much right away. And so we're just going to like cover that. We don't want to create a little hot pile here. And so we're just going to layer that. That's just to, we're doing two, a couple of things here. One, we're, um, we're keeping moisture on there, uh, because we want the worms to feel comfortable coming up. Um, and then we're introducing other biology because we want to pretend like, uh, you know, we're throwing them in a normal compost pile, which we are, but this is, you know, the worms. So if you're composting at home, uh, you know, whenever you go out and put a bunch of stuff out there, typically throw another layer on top. So we're trying to mimic a couple of things of what, what uh, folks may do at home with these K-cups. So we're just going to go ahead and do that a little bit easier. They're a little bit taller, those K-cups. <clears throat> so we may have to mound that <clears throat> a little bit more because the soft pods kind of lay a little, little flat. All right, that looks good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We don't want to get them saturated. We just want to make sure and guarantee that they're more. Now the next things we're going to do, these are just uh, five gallon bucket screw top lids. That it was, They're the perfect size, so that's what we're going to use. We're just using stuff that we have laying around. Uh, so we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and put these lids right on top of the little pile that we just made. And the reason that we're doing that is, is uh, multifold. Um, we do want to direct the worms to the little pile that we just made because that's going to speed up the little experiment trial that we're doing. Um, we're going to keep light from hitting the little pile because we are in the open hoop house. So we've got natural sunlight here. So we're going to keep the light down um, or from hitting those piles. The reason that we're doing that is because we want the worms to come all the way up. Uh, worms are photosensitive. Uh, so we're just trying to, um, speed this whole thing up along to where the worms feel comfortable going into our pile. Um, if, if that makes sense, we're also trying to replicate what may happen, um, in a backyard compost bin, uh, cause most compost bins, if it's a, a, a turning style or just a static system, there's going to be a lid and they're going to be dark. And so, um, that's what we're trying to you know, do here. So we're going to uh, behave ourselves <laughs> and we're not going to check this um, probably for about two days.